and our Climate Reporter, Victoria Seabrook, joins me now to talk us through all this. So, uh, two main things there, really, isn't it, Victoria? That that crucial 1.5 degree figure that we've all been warned about for, for so long has been hit now. And, and that last bit of hope that there is still time to do something about it. Yeah, exactly. And it can sound a bit abstract when we talk about 1.5. It doesn't sound that high. But this really matters for two reasons. First of all, it is deeply symbolic because under the Paris Agreement, which is the biggest climate treaty the world has ever struck, all governments agreed to try to limit warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. So that's before humans started burning fossil fuels at scale. Now, it's very important to say that although uh, the world did breach that, the average global temperatures did exceed 1.5 degrees last year, that doesn't mean that's it forever, uh, because that will only be declared once once that has happened over a number of years and actually the causes last year primarily were climate change there was also an additional warming effect of uh, the el nino weather phenomenon that made it that bit warmer that's faded now but certainly experts are saying this is a foretaste of what's to come the world is teetering on the edge of passing it passing it permanently and as well as it being symbolic of course it has real world impacts uh, now this chart that you can see here on the screen that shows just how warm 2024 was it just breaches that 1.5 degree line that you can see dotted across the top there. And we've got another chart that also illustrate, illustrates quite how warm the last two years were. You can see 2023 and 2024 skimming along the top there quite some way above all of the previous years. Both of those years were record warm. So as well as it being symbolic, of course, this has real world impact crystallised uh, so so clearly and so sadly with the fires in California, albeit they're happening this year, but some of the conditions that led to those fires being so severe were baked in last year by some really hot and dry conditions in the area being made worse by climate change. Last year, of course, we also saw that deadly flooding in Spain and southern drought uh, drought in southern Africa also made worse by climate change. Now, this all comes at a time when uh, experts are warning that support for the Paris Agreement is more fragile than ever. With Donald Trump coming into the White House, he uh, is expected to withdraw America from a lot of these global climate efforts. But scientists were really at pains to stress the 1.5 degree threshold, it's not a cliff edge. You know, action still matters. There is still a lot that can be done to prevent things from getting worse.